Well, first he came to my cafe and asked for a job. Then he came back and ordered food, and now he's working across the street from us. And he may have been watching us through the cafe window last night. What it sounds like to me is we have an ex-con who was able to find employment shortly after being paroled and who occasionally gets hungry. I wish all my parolees were this way. I'm sorry, the way you say that makes us sound like we're loony. Aren't there rules against making contact with someone you've attacked? Yes, there are. Well, there, he broke the rules. But it's a small town. I mean, paths will cross at times. He came to my place of work and asked me for a job on purpose. Xavier informed me of that incident shortly after it happened. He was not aware that you had any connection with the cafe. He was just looking for work. Come on! He came back after that and ate pie. If it will make you feel better, I will call him this afternoon and reiterate to him that he needs to stay away from you. So that's it. Unfortunately, yes. And that's how the system works. Unless you have proof that Xavier is doing something illegal, there's nothing more that I can do.